Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Episode 2. This is Let's Talk Portal 2. Let's do this. Okay guys, so let's talk about Portal 2. So I just finished the Portal 2 campaign like 15 minutes ago. Outstanding. The best Portal campaign I have ever seen. I mean, really, compared to the Portal Still Live campaign, which was like an hour and a half long. Um, this one was roughly uh, six hours long, I want to say. Well, for me, for some people it might be a little more difficult because... Some people can't comprehend the test, and they, you know, they have to look around. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making fun of you. I mean, I did that too quite a bit, but um, yeah, it's really, really outstanding game. So um, graphic-wise, it's like a normal Xbox 360 game. Basically, you're, you're. I think it's on the Half-Life 2 engine. No, it can't be. It's Half-Life 2 graphics aren't that good. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Shut up. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, it's it runs great. 60 frames per second like any other next-gen game is these days. Um, uh, gameplay is fabulous. No faults at all. Like I said, the puzzles are very fun. The game is probably a medium to hard difficulty. Um... If you play, you have to really play the first game to get the story. Um, the first game was Portal Still Alive, which is on the Xbox Live Marketplace um, because it was released as an arcade game and not a full release. So, um, go if you want to play Portal 2, I highly recommend that you uh, watch a playthrough or go play Portal Still Alive um, because you're going to need to play that or watch it, obviously, in order to get the story of, um, Portal 2, so, um, the reason I say that is because there's some things in the story of Portal 2 that kind of go back to, um, Portal 1, for instance, GLaDOS, and, um, you know, just a little backstory about that, and, um, also, if you play Portal 1, you're really gonna learn some stuff from that that you can carry over to Portal 2, and, use that to your advantage to solve the puzzles and things like that so um you know that's that's that i mean there's there's not much to say about that um characters are glados wheatley and shell um shell is the main character you play as glados is the ai and um wheatley is this weird ball shaped hilarious British accented robot um he's he's really funny you're gonna love him through the entire game I guarantee you're gonna love him Wheatley is probably one of the awesomest characters ever um so um basically it's just puzzles that's what it is it's not all puzzles and Excuse me. What I like about this game is that it's not like Portal Still Alive where you go through all the puzzles and then you have the boss battle. Um, this is actually going through puzzles and you go out of the uh, test chambers to run away. And, you know, I don't want to give too much. Um, but uh, it's, it's really great. And like I said, if you played Portal 1, Portal Still Alive... And um, really enjoyed that game. I guarantee you're going to love this game. Um, like I said, you can take the stuff from Portal that you've learned and transfer it over to Portal 2, and you'll be good to go. Um, so there's really not much to say about it. Oh, um, co-op. I did not get to play co-op because what Valve did was... I, I love Valve. I love their content, but Valve was being so stupid with this game. You can only play co-op split screen or with someone from your friends list, which sucks because no one else on my friends list has the game. So, um, and I really don't want to play split screen, so if, um, you're watching this and you have the game and, um, 
you want to play co-op, uh, shoot me a friend request if you're not already on my friends list, and um, we'll play co-op because um, I really want to get into the co-op and um, just see what that's like and stuff like that. So um, that is it, guys. Um, so here is my starred review of Portal 2. Alright, so I give Portal 2 a 4.5 out of 5 because of the co-op. If they didn't have that little teensy problem in there where you couldn't join random people and you could only join people from your friends list, if they did not have that in there, this would be a spectacular 5 out of 5 game. Or, yeah, but um, that's the only thing that's pushing it back, so... um. That is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching episode two of Let's Talk. This is Let's Talk Portal. I am Game Master, signing out. Peace!